Coming up on Hands on iOS, if you're having trouble getting connected to your Chromecasts, your smart lights, and anything else in your local network from your iPhone, you need this tip. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether employees are working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. Folks, my mom has done it again. She came to me with a problem, and it was a solution that I realized many people might be experiencing. So she texted me and she said, I am having trouble getting connected to my Chromecast. I can't get the darn thing to work. And of course, with a Chromecast, it is a device that is meant to actually uh, stream content to. It is not so much a device that exists on its own and does its own streaming like an Apple TV or other set-top boxes. So you need a phone to connect to it to play the content. And for some reason, when she pulled up a, a different media player on her phone, Hulu, Netflix, whatever it might be, the little cast button, the Chromecast button, wasn't showing up in the stream. Well, I almost immediately guessed what it was because it is a problem that anyone using iOS 14 might run into, and it all has to do with your privacy settings. So let's take a peek. Alrighty, folks. So the first thing we need to do is head to the settings app. From there, we will scroll down until we find the blue hand with the privacy icon and tap on that. And then we're going to scroll down until we get to local network. Local network is a new privacy setting in iOS 14. And what it does is it tells apps, yes, you can go ahead and access and see and control devices on the local network, or mm -mm, no, you don't have access to those, sorry. This is a really important privacy setting because there is a such thing as, as advertising profiling. And this is how it works. An app might make use of a metadata advertising sort of plugin that they install within their app, the developer does. And what it does is it will go out on your network and feel around and look for different devices that you have on your network. Those include, you know, an Apple TV, a Roku, a Chromecast, and a bunch of smart lights, for example. And using what information it can get from those different devices, it can take that information and then compare it to the same information when you're using a different app. And if your local network is unique enough, combined with all of the other things that it's able to gather, it can start to figure out exactly who you are and better market ads specific to you, better target those ads. So it's obviously a privacy concern, and it's one that is a concern when you're trying to keep different companies from tracking your activity across the web. So this feature was added in iOS 14, where you can say, no, I don't think you need to access my local network. And for most apps, that's an okay thing. I'll go ahead and tap on that. And you can see that in these in this top list of apps, many of them, I have local network turned off. But if you have it turned off in an app where you need it, well, then your device is not going to see that you have a Chromecast, for example, on your local network. So for my mom, I needed her to hop into this page, scroll down, and turn on that toggle for Hulu. Because what would have happened is she launched Hulu, it asked to see devices on her local network, the prompt made her go, I don't really think you need that, and choose no, which is a good default to have. But in that case, letting the actual Hulu app see the devices on the local, net local network was important. So in that case, it actually made sense. So my advice for you is to err on the side of no, but be mindful of the different types of apps that would need access to your local network. The airport utility app from Apple can look for the airport devices that you have on your network and let you control those. So of course, I want to give that local network access. The Amazon ALEXA app needs to have access so that it can control your Echo devices throughout your home. 
The Amazon Music app can connect to those different echoes around your home and play music from them. The Blink and Broadlink apps are both uh, Internet of Things device controlling apps, and so therefore they will also need access to your local network. But there's no reason why the Amazon app or the Amazon Photos app or Audible needs access to my local network. And so those apps do not get the toggle turned on. So if you're having trouble actually getting the necessary controls, particularly with Chromecast or some other type of of streaming on your local network, this may be the issue for those of you with Sonos devices, for those of you with Chromecast and Chromecast audio devices, for those of you with Roku devices, Apple TVs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You may need to hop into here and choose to turn on the local network to actually let you access and control those apps or smart lights or smart locks or what have you. So, a good setting to have and a good addition to iOS, but certainly one that might run you into a little bit of trouble. And so I hope this helps you out. Folks, I want to thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Hands on iOS, especially as we're talking about iOS 14 things. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you've got questions, I've got answers. You can send those to hoi at twit.tv. And of course, subscribe to the show, twit.tv slash hoi, or on YouTube, youtube.com slash hands on iOS, where you can subscribe to the show and make sure you get it as soon as it's available. And I will catch you next time with more. I've been Micah Sargent, and this has been Hands on iOS. Goodbye. I'm Jason Howell, host of Tech News Weekly here on twit.tv, along with my co-host, Micah Sargent. Each and every week, we talk to people who are making and breaking the tech news. It could be journalists writing amazing tech stories. It could be experts. It could be the sources of the stories themselves, developers, you name it. We bring them onto the show, and we talk to them about why their story is resonating with the world. You can watch and subscribe by going to twit.tv slash TNW. Make sure you do that and you won't miss a single episode. We'll see you there.